Kisu Kukit, everybody. My name is Ashley O'Neill, and I'm Tanaka Nation. I am the owner of Ash Fireware, and I design and manufacture female firefighting clothing, but not limited to her. I also have a men's line as well. A few years back in 2018, when I started fighting forest fires, um, I noticed that there was a lack of fire protection wear for people in the industry. Um, especially women. Um, so I designed and manufactured female firefighting clothing, just not limited to her. So I also have a menswear as well. We covered the NFPA standards of 1977, CGSB 155.22 and NFPA 2112. The fabric can be used for wildland firefighters, urban interfacing firefighters, welders, miners, oil field workers, and hydro workers. So this is my second production role. Um, and this year I decided to do coveralls. Um, the year prior I did pants and shirts. So the reason why I did coveralls is because there was a lot of asking for coveralls. So I wanted to make coveralls and I eventually want to do different styles of coveralls. All the products um, come from Canada. The thread itself is NFPA standard 1977 and it is a cotton and wool blend. Um, the high vis came from Canada. It is not biodegradable. I still haven't found somebody to help make the biodegradable high vis The zippers are YKK rip away zippers. Um, so we can just pull on them for easy access if we need to get out of the coveralls in a hurry. A lot of this stuff is easy enough that you can rip it off before you get rid of it. Also the zippers, you can, we can take out the zippers and we can send the zippers off to get recycled and remelted into new zippers. So there's always ways to recycle this. The fabric is 100% all cotton, so it is a heavier twine. It is also moldew and rot resistant. It also is very water moisture wicking. So it pulls the moisture away from the skin. So when you start seeing people with the sweat backs, we didn't really see that the last few years. Um, also, when you do get wet, we notice that it has a drying time of 20 minutes in the sunlight and wind. Um, it's very durable. We notice when you get nicks and ticks into it, it doesn't spread. It just stays where it is. Also, the fabric was um, tested at the University of Alberta in January of 2022. And I gave them three sets. I gave them a U set, a new set, and a high vis set. And the reason why they asked for a U set because they don't generally test used garments and they wanted to see what the outcome was after having so many washes and being actually put to work out on the fire line. Uh, when I got the test results back, it had the same entity as a brand new set as it did. It also is sprayed with an eco-friendly um, FR spray, which they do to most Nomex and FR PPE. Um, mine's eco-friendly. A lot of the, the other places that they use harsh chemicals, um, for instance, some of their main ingredients is crude oil, right? Mine's made out of 100% cotton. So natural materials, natural fibers, they smolder and they don't melt.